So this is um, part two to the video I just put up about um, I was going to um, get the blood work done at, um, at Quest. That's where I go to get my blood work done at Quest. It's cheaper over there. <clears throat> and um, so let me see. Let me go in closer. I'm, oh, I don't know how to. Let me see. How can I do this? Well, let's do it like th if I go down. Oh. It's going to put me in a corner. How about we do it like this? Okay. And if I look if I look at it, I guess that's how I could talk. Okay, so this is new for me. So let me, I'm going to lower it. I'm going to, this is going to be like a weird little video. Which is starting off weird already, so whatever. Let's just go with it. <laughs> okay. So I put up the other video. Um, well, it's okay. So what happened, if you watch, there's a previous video where I talk about my blood work last year, summertime. So I'm going to say it's about eight months ago. I know I put a year, at that, I, it was last year, but it was like eight months ago, nine months ago. I remember it was, the, it was warm. It was the summertime. I was drinking a lot of monster drinks. Um, and eating a lot of a lot of greasy food, a lot of fried foods. Um, my diet was pretty bad. So I said, oh, oh, so then I went to have blood work done. And I wasn't feeling well at all. I mean, if you watch my older videos, you'll see that I say, oh, I'm, di I'm feeling dizzy. I'm walking and I'm trying to lose weight and blah, blah, blah. And I'm doing all these things. I'm trying to eat right. But kept on screwing up with certain health activities those two of them were the the greasy food and um, the monster drinks so when I went to see the doctor the doctor or you know once a year the doctor orders blood work so I was I was feeling so crappy that I did the blood work at the hospital right there which cost five hundred dollars if you want to get it done immediately and I did it immediately instead of waiting, you know, to get the order, make the make the um, appointment for Quest, and that would have saved me like four hundred and fifty dollars. That's how bad I was feeling. I paid the money, and sure enough, my creatinine, creatinine, creatinine was high, and so was my uh, overall cholesterol. It was like. To, uh, 300 or something it was high you know and I was like oh my god Two, first of all you don't want any of your blood work being bad but you know I had been taking um, cholesterol medication like the lowest dose um, they wanted to put me on higher dose they did put me on a higher dose and I remember feeling dizzy again and, think, and looking at the um, side effects and seeing that one of the side effects of is of having too high of a cholesterol dose is, is dizziness. So I said, let's try. And I asked the doctor to put me on the lowest dose of cholesterol, the rifostatin, <laughs> which he did. He said, well, monitor your your blood work on the lowest dose. And um, I was like, yeah, because it's super bad for you. Cholesterol is one of the most important. All this stuff is very tricky, and there's a lot of information out there that it's very difficult to digest and then to uh, apply in the correct in the correct way um, but I know that cholesterol is what your cells are built out of the healthy cholesterol um, and is but I think it's very little that you need to provide that to your cells that's what I think it is and cholesterol medication, which it does lower your, medic your, your cholesterol level, it also lowers the good cholesterol. And that you don't want because it's, it's just very bad for you. That, I, that much I understood and I believe that. And whether it's true or not, like I said, that's what I believe. So I said, let's see if I can go on the lowest dose, what happens. And here I go eating all this like, uh, you know, greasy food. And then I take my blood work 
and I have a super high cholesterol and I, and I get all nervous, right? Because I don't want to go on a higher, but I didn't know if it was affecting my blood work. And here I am drinking the monster energies because I want energy and I'm, I'm, I'm doing my kidneys in. So, and I used to work at a dialysis clinic. That's the funny part. And, or the ironic part. Not funny, haha, -ha, but you know, funny, ironic. And there are, peop there are people who have lost their kidney function as a result of energy drinks. Just putting it out there. When I did my research, that came up. So, I told the, the doctors scheduled me for eight nine months out for for our next primary care visit and to do the blood work before the primary care visit so that was yesterday and fasted in the morning you know I everything been doing things pretty normal lately reduced my cholesterol intake reduced my alcohol intake Increase the vegetables, increase the, you know, uh, decrease the fried food, start lifting weights, you know, I think I'm getting there, you know, and started jogging to the best of my ability. Like I jog as much as I can. I get, I, if you can watch my videos on jog, I couldn't jog anything. I have to do a video on my jogging. The progression I've had since that video where I'm going to try running up this hill and I was like dying, you know, and actually tweet. Two and a half years ago, when I first started walking, I could barely walk, meaning that I got winded from walking like a quarter mile, you know. Uh, and now I'm starting to jog. And what I noticed with the jogging is that I jog three times a week, and every, every other day, basically, uh, except Sunday. So, and I'm jogging like a little extra every day, every other day, every week, a little extra, and the spaces that I need to rest are getting smaller and smaller and smaller, so, you know, if you did a track, and you did dashes with my, with my jogging, the dashes are get and the dashes might be jogging, the dashes are getting longer, and the space in between the dashes are getting shorter, so, that's where I'm at right now with that, Hopefully I continue when it gets better, but the, the, the goal is to make those dashes touch and to be able to leave my house and run for a half hour straight. <clears throat> I think that's how long it would take me to do my route. And that might be another year or two. It might never happen. I don't know, but that's what I'm doing. And that blood work thing really got me into it. So without further ado, I just want to give that backstory for those of you who didn't see it and to give a word of warning. I mean, I may tell you, when I saw that email this morning that said your blood work is ready, my anxiety went through the roof. And I was like, oh my God. And that's it. So this is what it is. These are the test results for my cholesterol from, you know, I'm trying to do better since uh, eight months ago. Obviously, there are still that a couple high, super duper close within range. This one is 134, and this one's 114. Um, I mean, my I haven't I I, I don't remember I don't, I think I've been I was I was within normal range before before that test result. And then I think it went up to, like I said, I don't know if it was 300 or 260, but it was high. And I was like, oh, my God. And, like, everything was, like, red or something. So everything's pretty good. Um, these two are our monitor. I'm hoping that um, maybe with the exercise and losing weight that those will go down uh, without increasing my uh, cholesterol medication. I really don't want to increase it. I mean, I will if I have to. But right now, I'm okay with that. Um, that's pretty close. To the range um so uh, like i said i'll speak to my i'll do my own research and see what that means but i know that i know that 
those are pretty close. Um, I'm not going to get all crazy into... I think the triglycerides, right? It's like the really, really bad one. I don't know. And I know that there's one of these. I don't know. I'm hoping it's it's these two. Um, I'm hoping, like I said, I'm hoping it's those two. But I know there's one or two cholesterol ranges that are not life-threatening. Uh, either way, they look pretty close and... Like I said, especially this one, it's 134. I'm only four out of range. Um, oh, this is the low low density. I mean, this might be the important one. I don't know. Primary for prevention. All right, I could click show more on these, but I'm not going to do that. I don't want to make the, the videos already going to be too long. My glucose is okay. It's 90. My um. Nitrogen is okay, I guess. And that's the big one right there. If 130 was the, um, I think it was like, I think it was close. It was close to in range. It was like 140 or something or 135. I mean, maybe it was 150. I don't know. But it, was, it wasn't it was that high out of range. But I was like, yo, I don't want to be, I don't want this to be out of range, you know. Um, then there's a million reasons not to want to lose your kidneys. First of all, like I said, I worked in dialysis, and it's it's uh, sad. You know, it's very sad when someone loses kidney function. <coughs> Excuse me. And obviously, if it happens, you know, we're all going to die, and, um, you know, the Lord's going to take us when he's ready. But he also puts in front of us the tools and the and the and the, the exits to make changes in our life and we have to choose those doors and I'm, and some of them like I said some of them it has nothing to do with the Lord he just wants you and he's taking you you know what I mean but for other things for what you're eating exercise weight those are doors he's putting in front of us every second of the day every moment of the day and I know I was choosing the wrong the wrong door. I, mean, I was more like jumping out windows than choosing doors. And I knew I was I was harming myself. And um and I decided to try a different door. And that's basically what the channel is about, you know, is just my journey, my health journey and um And I knew I was doing things that were wrong. And when I wasn't doing enough of the good things that were right. And that's what I started to do. I don't know if there's any other. Um... Okay. I don't see the little thing. There. Oh, there it goes. Um, sodium's pretty good. I think everything else was good. Carbon dioxide. Wow. Look at that. I smoked for 30 years, man. Well, I smoked for 25 and I vape for 10 or something like that. I don't do none of that crap anymore. <sighs> but when you get older, man, this stuff right here, this is the stuff that's scary, man. And if all of these are, when these things start sh showing up red, <laughs> I'm telling you, if. Again, if you're going through it, you know what I'm talking about. If you're young, listen to me. I'm telling you. You don't want to you don't want to do what I'm doing and that's trying to turn back time. And that's basically what I'm doing. You know, I had a lot of bad habits in my life. The Lord granted me second, third, fourth, fifth thousand chance and here I am having this discussion with you and right now let's keep going the urine the color was good appearance was clear the gravity was good Luke, everything else pH is good everything else is negative negative, negative, negative okay 
That's it. Um, you know, that's uh, I don't know. You know, I'm just telling you, if you're young and you do, you have bad habits, work on it. For me, it's super duper hard, and I know that if you have bad habits, which a lot of us do. Um, I remember telling, telling doctors, what? You want me to stop what? Like, like serious, like, like, man, like I was ready to fight them or something, man. You know what I'm saying? Like stupid, man. Like what? You're going to, but meanwhile, as soon as I get sick or I see something's wrong, instantly I change it. Now all of a sudden it's like, okay, now I might have kidney failure. I don't need no one to tell me nothing. All I need to do is see the result. And that is ass backwards, man. I'm telling you. All right, so I'm going to leave it there. I get a little emotional with this stuff because um, I just can't uh, express enough the importance of uh, taking care of yourself. All right, so God bless. Uh, here, I'll, do, I'll go one more. Um. <laughs> Um, God bless. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope that, um, I don't know. I, for me, this is, I'm telling you, I can't tell you how happy I am. You know, that those two results have improved. Um, and that everything here is green instead of everything red. I think there were other red stuff too, man. Um, that I'm not even, I don't even remember. But the two that I do remember with those. And um, I know I have to work a little bit on these. I'll figure that out. <laughs> and um, and I, I and and anyway, thank you. And oh, I'm I'm showing it, and you can't see me because I have the the picture full screen. Okay, and um, I'll see you on the next one.